This was supposed to be a really straightforward and quite boring video about my nails because I get so many questions about them. They're not your standard gel nails. But then I ended up having a few bits and pieces that I'd done that day, so I've popped it in and I've made it into more of a vlog. It is basically just a nails video, so excuse me, it's a nail video with bonus extras. Well, you pick your dress and then I'll come in and put it on. Okay. You pick your dress, your knickers, okay. and your vest. Ted's measuring. Ted's measuring everything. He's measuring it all up to size. Ooh. Trying to get ready in like eight minutes. Ooh. That's beautiful. So pick some tights and some knickers to go with that, and then you are done. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you measure me, Ted? <clears throat> Come on then. I'm not dressed. Got everything ready. I have to do my mascara in the car. And this quarter, Rupert Holmes. Going into bath, I don't know why I'm filming myself in this really narrow space. I'm going into bath because my that's where I get my nails done. Um, and I thought I was going to do just a video about my nails. Maybe this still will be. Depends how much other interesting stuff happens today. Um, but I'm also, before that, I'm going to meet my friend T, who um, I first met when I was modelling in London. She is still a model in London, but she lives in Bath. Um, and I'm going to meet her for a late breakfast to catch up. However, we've just been talking for the last half an hour on... Oh my God, my battery's weak. What's going on? I knew there was something a bit weird about my car today. So, um, yeah, we've just been chatting for the last half an hour. So it's quite nice. It's like we've started our conversation already and now we're gonna go and continue a conversation at the Walcott Cafe. I've got our juices. Tea has got a coffee and cannot oh, believe no, that no. I don't. Oh, go on. How is it? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> she can't believe I don't drink coffee. Can't believe you don't drink coffee. Do you think that's weird? Oh. You know, oh my God. This tea? is, this is like British. this is cutting edge documentary going on here. I know. I know. I don't know why. I mean. Well, people haven't asked you these questions. Are you having before. sugar? I would not have you down as a sugar woman. Guess how many? <gasps> I know, controversial. Having two? I'm having two. Having two. We're at the Walcott Cafe and it's really a bit of a hidden gem. I didn't even know it was here. Amazing. I'm not going to make this look good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Industrial chic. Okay. Totally love an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen someone multitask as much as this? <laughs> Me. Tours with tea. <laughs> Tea's tours. I like it. Follow the Dane. Follow the Dane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. As if this is not cute enough. That's very cute, cute, yeah. You go, ah, oh, I wonder if I can find little things. Oh, wow. Oh, A I've never seen staircase. that. Right? We're not going to go because it, you know. We're late. We're late and also it's, it's quite, it's going to take us like a minute and a half. A whole minute and a half. <laughs> I can see tea. I'm going to get my nails done. I get loads and loads of questions about my gel nails because they're not your normal sort of shellac gel nails. I have 
I can never remember what it is. So I'm off to get them done at the suite in Bath, which is where I've gone for the last sort of year or so. Uh, it's actually the only place I've ever been to have gels done. It's my friend Rachel that got me into it. So hopefully I'm gonna get her to talk through what she actually does and it'll answer your questions. This is with five weeks worth of growth. And although you can see the regrowth, the nails themselves still look absolutely flawless. There are no chips, there's no lifting. They're just brilliant and it makes my life easy because they always look perfect. I know you've told me loads of times, but yeah. what is it that I have done? It's not gel, it's not shellac. No, it's a building gel called Synergy. So you have your you have your shellac style brands, which is your gel polish, longer lasting gel polish. And then you have the next step up, which would be biosculpture. Then you have the next step up from that, which is the builder's gel. When you say next step up, it's like more the hard. Strength. I'm creating a new nail for you. Yeah. And then you have your gel polish on top. So most gel nails would be just this, this shellac type where you, it's just a nail varnish. Yeah, most beauty salons just do the shellac style. This product is a non-porous product, um, so it doesn't soak into the layers of your nail. So it's just sitting on top of your nail bed. I create structure, I mean you have yours quite thin because you're not all that hard wearing on yours. If people wanted like creation of toenails, if, they've, if runners have lost their toenails, we can create that. Or if you want extensions without adding a tip on, you can create them with the gel, which is called forming. And why don't most people do this type of, of nail? Um, as in beauticians or... Well, I just never really see it offered anywhere. Yeah, it, it's quite technical to learn and it's quite expensive to buy in. I think more and more people are getting to know about it now. Yeah. So this is the build. Yeah. This is what's going to give you the strength and the structure. So it looks exactly the same as the base. Yeah. Creating my foundation ready for my gel polish to go on top. Yeah. Young Nails Manicure, it's called. And so this is one we found to match. It almost matches my nail colour exactly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just we don't need to do one coat because your growth, uh, it just hides the growth better. This is like your shellac. This is shellac's a brand. This is a gel polish. So if I was having like normal, what people think of normal gel nails being, I would just be having that You'd one. just be having that. So you would have just had a, a layer of thin base looking like a polish mm -hmm. in a polish pot and then you would have two coats of colour and then a top coat. That's usually the standard. So it's basically just like having your nails painted, the normal traditional, yes. but yeah. with a slightly more hard wearing polish. Yeah. speed walk. Um, I just think I'm going to do loads and loads of filming when I'm not in London because it's not going to be embarrassing. But I have to say it's just as humiliating vlogging anywhere in the world. Yeah, it always just makes me feel really, really embarrassed. So I have just been to my friend's cafe, Friends Are Electric, in Bath. Um, showed it with her husband just before Christmas. It's amazing, it's really, really small, very, very cute. And um, she's doing some brand work for me on a very exciting project. I don't want this to be like an announcement video. Oh my God, guys, I've been waiting for so long to tell you about this. Um, it's not one of those things. Basically, I am launching, it should have been launched a long time ago. It's taking a lot longer because we are making it perfect. When I say we, myself and the developers that are actually building the app. So it's an app for new mums who, or dads, or anybody really, but it's it's called the Night Feed and it's aimed at people who are up in the night, whether through insomnia or feeding a baby, but really it's sort of geared towards new mums who are feeling really, really alone and it's got content that's sort of relevant and specific to 
um, people that are in that phase of their life and it's got amazing features. You can communicate and message each other and have discussion threads and it's just going to be like the ultimate destination if you are up in the night as well as some really good practical tools. So um, Becky has been doing some branding work for me on that and that's what I have just been in to her gorgeous little cafe to do. Um, so if you're in Bath, do pay to visit because they do the most amazing coffee and uh, Nick, her husband, is a great cook and he makes these gorgeous open sandwiches and stuff like that. So um, pop in. Okay, are you sure you want this one? <laughs> Charlie and Lola. <laughs> She? Yeah, she. Is, that's the lady who wrote the book. Lauren Child. <laughs> okay, this is called One Thing. This is Charlie. And this is Lola. And that is Lola, that's right. He says, I have this little sister Lola. She's small and very funny. Sometimes for a treat, mum says, we are going to the shops and you may choose one thing. And I say one thing each, or one thing between two. And Mummy says each. Hello, Dexter. What are you doing in here? Just having a little chill out. I'm off to book club. I'm hunting for the book. I don't know where I put it. Why am I so zoomed in? Um, we read Amanda Craig's Lie of the Land. I mean, I romped through it. But, I don't know, I can never, there's something else I tried to read by Amanda Craig and I just, I didn't get into it. Has not been my favourite book club book? Um, so anyway, I need to find that and then venture out into the dark. Luckily, so we have a book club between two villages and there's nothing in either village. When I say village, I really mean Hamlet. So we group together and we share a book club and it's really nice actually, it's just nice to see everybody and because when you just live out in the middle of nowhere, there's no village hall, there's no community place, you have to get together in other ways. So book club is what it is. Crap. I'm walking to book club and I just want to show you how, how dark it is. I mean, it is absolutely, actually there's one light on up there, absolutely pitch black um, and really quite scary because I can only see what is in my torchlight. Oh, this is really freaky filming myself. Okay, I'm turning this off now so I can get there in one piece. freaking out then. I was like, imagine if I was editing my film and then there was a head over my shoulder. And now I've really freaked myself out and I can't move. That was quite hair raising. Um, <clears throat> good night at book club though. Lots of reading suggestions for next time, which, do you know what? If anyone's interested, I will put them in the description box below. How about I do that? It's not actually the book. I'll tell you what the book is for next time. It's Americana, the one with the H at the end, which I have actually read. I read it years ago, but it's brilliant. And um, that's the one I'm going to read again because I can't really remember it that well. But I remember it being excellent. But as we sit there, everyone's always talking about other books that they've liked and... It's really, really nice, and I always jot them down. So I've got a little list of things that are on my reading wish list now, even though I've got a reading pile that's like up to the ceiling. Uh, I've eaten a lot of cheese. Talking probably like half a kilo of cheese. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but it's my early tomorrow. It's my early morning, so... Oh, touch running. Um, I'm going to go to bed. And this might be the end of of this vlog, maybe. What do you think? Has that been exciting enough for you? Uh, started off as just being about my nails, didn't it? The nails are looking good. And then I was gonna add just an intro and an outro, 
but you know this is really the nail video with bonus extras so I hope that's okay um, really exciting video coming up next as well obviously this has been totally exciting but there's one coming up with my five um, top beauty things to try for this year so that should be out pretty soon maybe in the next few days uh, I always forget to say make sure that you subscribe I need to start putting that at the beginning so if you do see this and you haven't subscribed then please do and click the notification thing all right then I'm off to edit this video and hopefully not see any weird ghosts in the background